There's little doubt that fishing poppers for smallmouth bass is arguably one of the most fantastic ways to take these fish. Um, but the fish are gonna tell you what they want. Um, so when you begin your day fishing with poppers, what I like to do is vary the cadence of my retrieve upon my cast. That'll tell you which way the fish want it. So I'll start out by casting out my popper and actually letting it sit for 30 seconds to a minute till all those rings dissipate. One tiny little movement and sometimes that giant smallmouth will come up and engulf it. Then I increase the cadence of my retrieve until I figure out the way they want it. Sometimes I'll even just rip them in. The fish will tell you what they want. All right, fish. Uh, so I moved down after Mike caught that fantastically big smallmouth. I moved down to 4X. This is a place where world records can happen. And we'll see what we can do. I've got a good one on here. It's not gonna be a world record, but should go three anyway. And what a sip, it was just so gentle and light. No, he just engulfed it. Put a heck of a cast on that fish, Mark. Thanks, Mike. These cruisers are fun. You can see them coming up and down these yeah. lines. And uh, it's sight casting. It's just great. It's interactive fishing. <laughs> Good job. That is a great, great fish. You can't beat smallmouth on a popper all day long. That is just awesome. So fun. All right, we'll get this guy back in the water. Away he goes. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.